Hi, this is Gareth Brown from Rich Games Following. I've got a card game in this video to show you, um, which is all about times tables and to help kids learn and memorize their times tables. There is a sheet you can download to help you play, um, so you, it shows you where to place the cards and gives a bit of a visual representation of what all the numbers are doing. Um, but you don't need to download the sheet if you don't want to. You just need a deck of cards and that's it. So here's how to play. It's a two player game. I've taken out all the jacks, queens and kings. I've dealt each player seven cards each and the rest of the usable cards I've used as a pick up pile and put face down there. Now the player that goes first is the player who can make a complete um, times table sum. Now I've had a look, this player can do seven times 10 equals seven zero or 70. So this player would pick up their cards and go seven times 10 equals 70 and joker is zero all right so seven zero seventy now because i've used four cards that player instantly picks four more cards up uh, so they're always holding seven cards in their hand now this player has a choice of putting four more cards down to make a completely different sum or only putting a couple of cards down to use in conjunction with the cards that are already here to make a completely different sum. So, for example, this player can go, put the 3 there, and have 3 times 10 equals 30. Alright, and they've used two cards, so they pick another two cards up. Now, a player isn't allowed to put the same card on top of another card. So this player wouldn't be allowed to put the joker on top of a joker. And each player keeps putting cards down to make new times table sums until they've used up all these cards. Now if a player can't do anything, like let's say for example this player couldn't put any cards down to make a times table sum or couldn't see how they could do it. If that happens they need to pick up an extra card and then it goes back to this player. And players keep on playing and keep on picking up extra cards until there's no more cards left in the pickup pile. Once there's no more cards left and none of the players can do anything else, whoever has the least amount of cards would be the winner. So in this case, if none of these players could do anything, uh, this player would be the winner because they've got seven cards and this player still has eight cards left. Well, thank you for watching. Grab a deck of cards now and go play that game and have a lot of fun with it. If you'd like to download the template that I used, just follow the link directly below this screen to download that template. Have fun.